Hey guys, I welcome you all to yet another episode from K21 Academy where we take you in a journey from complete beginner to a certified professional. In this episode, we will look into connectivity agent overview. We have taken a clip from one of our certification training program on Oracle integration cloud services. And in this clip, our instructor will talk about connectivity agent overview in Oracle integration cloud. Before we drive further, let's take a look at the agenda. Firstly, we will see why agent is required. After that, we will look into overview of OIC agent and finally available adapters in OIC. In the end, I will also share details about our free masterclass, which will not only help you to learn basics, but it will also give you an idea of the learning part to follow. It would be helpful, especially when you are preparing for Oracle specialist certification and to get certified, you should have an understanding of connectivity agent. Now let's hear from our expert on the same. Let me just describe a one scenario in a very layman. Uh, let's let's take an example. You have one application which is running over the internet, which can be accessible from anywhere. You are using Facebook, you are using WhatsApp, you are using Twitter, you are using a lot of e-commerce website. You are using, you can access it from anywhere, anytime why it is because they are hosted on some public network you have you should have the internet and you will be able to access it from anywhere in the world but what about the applications which are hosted on the organization's data center which means the private cloud can you access it from anywhere no, you cannot access those applications which are running behind the firewall because they are hosted on the organization's data center. The environment is itself secured. Let's take an example of your computer only. You are using your own home Wi-Fi or the LAN or the mobile network. So I can't access your system directly because you are behind the secure system. I cannot access your computers because you are using one private network. I can access Facebook from my system because a Facebook is hosted on somewhere on the public cloud. Similarly, if you have one EBS application and EBS application, you know, it's an on premise. You know that Oracle database, you might have installed it on your organization's data center on some servers. It might be a SOA server which you have which you have uh, deployed on your organization's data center. Yeah. So you know OIC is a public service. Since it's a public service, it cannot directly reach to those on-premises application. Why? Because they are sitting somewhere in the private network. They are secured. They are behind the firewall. So you cannot access those applications which which are secured directly from the OIC. You are able to connect FTP directly because the FTP which we created it was on the public internet. We, we were able to access one of the REST API directly because it was hosted on the public internet public servers. We were able to call the SOAP APIs directly because they were deployed somewhere on the public cloud. But if the same REST APIs was behind the firewall, then it was not possible to connect those application directly from the OIC. So in order to connect those applications from the OIC, you need one mediator you need some agent you need some proxy which will help you to connect to make a communication between oic and on premise that is called your connectivity agent the connectivity agent is only and only required if you have application which is hosted on prem and you want it to communicate with that application then only the connectivity agent is required otherwise it is not required at all 
connectivity agents are the agent that help you to create integration between on premise this is application and oracle integration cloud because one is the public service and another is the private service connectivity agent is required for oracle integration cloud to communicate to the on premises application what on premises application are which are behind the firewall what connectivity agent is it is a very lightweight installer which you can install on the host machine and then via that host machine you have to make a communication it is just like a mediator someone knows english someone knows french but both of the people don't know both the languages so you require a mediator if you need to communicate between both the users or both the both the guys you should pass your communication using that mediator then only the communication will be able to happen similarly the agent every communication between oic and on premise application will go through via the agent without this the communication is not possible and it is a very lightweight agent you can see which is approximately a 152 mb installer the agent framework uses an oic message channel allowing the agent to continually call from your oic integration outbound invocation what does it mean so how communication happens actually between agent and oic let's suppose you have a agent here and you have the oic and you have one soap server or your ebs you want to communicate between oic and this guy and what we have to do you have to install one agent here and this agent regularly calls your oic oic does not call agent so that will be that will be inbound to oic actually the connectivity agent inbound to oic so there should be a inbound connectivity to the oracle cloud not outbound it will be a inbound to oracle integration cloud because connectivity agent is calling oic regularly to serve any request if you want to make any connection the connectivity agent pull that request if any message need to transfer between oic and then on prem application the agent will pull this data from the uh, 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 from the oic so this is how the communication happens so there are different different adapters which you can use to use the agent like file server file adapter there is a file adapter on the trigger connection which you can use to connect to your local systems microsoft sql server server so it can be used as a trigger as a invoke so if you have a on prem microsoft sql server then you can use agent to connect to the ms sql server similarly jms e business suite sibel sap database soap rest sibel sap sql database and then oracle database all those adapters can use the connectivity agent that was a clip on connectivity agent overview in oracle integration cloud now we have put down everything about the certification including the basic concept that one should know everything like oic overview various oic navigation and dashboards integration patterns adapters and web services connection integration and packages all the way administering and monitoring integrations connectivity agents visual builder cloud service and examples code promotion and versioning process cloud overview including tips and resources for clearing the certification exam this is 9 week road map where we take you from basics to advanced level and help you to get certified if you are interested i would like to invite you for 90 minute free class with our expert trainer which will not only help you to learn basics but it will also give you an idea of the learning part to follow this interactive session will help you to gaining an understanding of what is cloud computing cloud service models oracle integration cloud service 
what is OIC and its architecture, demo on walkthrough of Oracle Cloud and OIC Cloud instance, job opportunities and market trend and more other topics. You can register for this free class by visiting k21academy.com slash OIC02. After landing on free class page, just click on book your seat now. Select the date according to your availability. Fill out your details like your name, email address, mobile number and just click on yes, save my seat. After that, it will redirect to the page where you will find all the information about this free class like what we are going to cover and the webinar link. If you found this video helpful, please give a thumbs up. If you have any doubts or queries, you can put them down in comment section. Our team will get back to you. Till then, take care.